Hey guys, Scott from Fright Props here, and today we are going to be talking about controlling the speed of a pneumatic cylinder. Um, so we have a couple cylinders set up here with a couple options as far as controlling the speed. We get this question pretty frequently, like, how do I control how fast my cylinder moves? Can I make it go faster? Can I slow it down? Uh, and the answer is yes, um, and here are a couple ways you can do that. So, first up we have a standard double acting cylinder, um, and this is just the standard setup. We have the elbows going into the ports here. Uh, and if we activate it, you'll see it activates at basically a standard speed. Now let's say you wanted to slow that down. You wanted the cylinder to extend more slowly or retract more slowly. To do that, you would use flow control fittings, which we have installed on the second cylinder here. As you can see, these fittings have a needle valve, a dial that you can turn in order to meter the flow of air going into the cylinder. So as you turn the uh, needle valve and tighten up the uh, passage of air through the fitting, the cylinder will extend and retract more slowly. Now because these are double acting cylinders, that basically means that air uh, both pushes the cylinder rod out and draws it back in. So you can actually control independently the speed of the extension and retraction. So if we wanted to meter down very low the extension speed, we would just tighten this valve down. You see it extends very slowly. We can even go more slowly into extremely slow, probably too slow. You can set this at whatever you want, whatever speed uh, works for your application. So if you wanted your cylinder to extend slowly and retract more quickly, you could do that using these flow controls. Or if you wanted it to extend quickly and retract more slowly, you would simply tighten the needle dial on the rear cylinder port and open it up at the front. So by adjusting how far these uh, needle valves are threaded down, you can adjust the speed of the cylinder rod as it extends and retracts. One thing to note about controlling the cylinder speed is that although you can control and set the speed going in and out, you can't change it uh, mid-stroke. So you can't have it start slow and then go fast. Uh, it's going to be set at one standard speed, um, and that's just the speed that it's going to operate at once you have it. Uh, dialed in. So here we can compare a cylinder that is not metered at all to one that we have flow control uh, fittings on and see the difference in speed we can achieve. So we see that it's easy to slow a cylinder down, but what if you want to speed it up? What if the speed of the cylinder by default is not fast enough? You want to get more quick movements out of it. Well that's where something called a quick exhaust valve comes into play. Quick exhaust valve is essentially a valve that attaches to the cylinder ports. This is one detached here. It has three ports of its own. So it has one port that connects to the cylinder, another exhaust port, and then the third port where the air goes into the cylinder. Now how this works is that traditionally when a uh, cylinder receives air from the solenoid, the air comes into the cylinder, pushes the rod out, and then it has to exit again back down the air line all the way to the exhaust on the valve. By using a quick exhaust valve, the air is allowed to exhaust directly at the cylinder connection, which makes it much more fast. So let's check that out. So you can see the cylinder extends and retracts much more quickly. Here we can compare a cylinder that has no quick exhaust valves with one that does, and, and this cylinder stroke is only about six inches, so it's not as noticeable, but when you get up to much longer strokes, it's much more noticeable. It's also possible to much more quickly uh, extend and retract the cylinder rapidly with the quick exhaust valves. For instance, you can create a program where the cylinder very quickly moves in and out. Much more difficult to do on a, without quick exhaust valves. 
Another way to control the speed of a cylinder is that by rather than adjusting the flow of air at the cylinder ports themselves with flow control fittings here, you can control the flow of air at the solenoid exhaust ports here. This works by restricting the flow of air as it passes back from the cylinder out the exhaust of the solenoid. Uh, you can meter it here rather than metering it as it comes into the solenoid. They both accomplish the same effect, just at different places. Oftentimes, prop makers prefer to use speed control mufflers because the cylinder itself may be inaccessible. It could be attached to a mech or inside a prop. So it's easier to locate the flow controls on the solenoid itself, which can be located away from the prop and easily adjusted from a distance while you observe the prop's motions. Flow control mufflers work exactly the same as uh, flow control fittings that mount to the cylinder. You can simply change the depth of the needle valve to control the speed of the cylinder. If we want that to extend more slowly, simply dial down the valve and it should extend more slowly now. Because this is a double acting valve and a double acting cylinder, you can control the speed both of the extension and retraction on the solenoid itself. Because this solenoid has five ports, it has two exhaust ports, one for each output. So you can control the exhaust speed of output A with exhaust A and the exhaust speed of output B with exhaust B, thereby controlling both the extension and retraction of the cylinder. So that's a quick example of some various ways to control the speed of a cylinder. As always, if you have any questions, leave them as a comment on this video or send us an email at sales at Thanks, and we'll see you next time.